G'day everyone, it is me. Now, I know it's been a really, really long time since I've actually done any videos on here. I kind of sort of took a break from everything because in Australia, the weather conditions have not been the best this year for doing Valpoi outside. It's been really windy, it's been really hot, it's just not been the greatest year to be doing a lot of teaching and all that. So I do apologize for the disappearing act that I tend to usually do from time to time, but I would like to let you guys know that I will be coming back with some new and interesting stuff. I want to redo my V-Point episodes, where I talk a lot more about doing Valpoi, some intermediate and advanced techniques and different designs and styles, such as where to get your own veils from, and a lot of resources and informational places to go to. I'm also going to be getting back into LED Poi stuff as well. So you guys will be getting some interesting stuff coming from me just doing different performances of nighttime because with the conditions in Australia at the moment, with the weather, it's just not the greatest to be doing Veil Poi. So to break things up, I actually want to start uploading some videos of Lead Poi of nighttime just to sort of break things up for all you guys out there that want to see something different besides just Veil Poi stuff. I also am going to be getting into using different cameras and that, so I'm going to be able to produce a lot more higher quality stuff for you guys guys. Therefore, a lot of the uh, movements and such that I'll be doing will be a lot more like, you know, just, just that little bit better than what you guys have been getting for the past year or so. I also want to do talks about how to maintain your veil poise because they are very expensive and some places you just, you, you can't get them, you know, close enough to being like that. So I want to be talking about, you know, how to take care of them, how to wash them, how to travel with them, how to pack them away properly and make sure that the material in itself is not going to get wrecked. And also how to perform without wrecking your veil poise. Because when you look at some of my veils, they do actually have some tears and little holes in them from past mistakes that may have included a stick or two getting caught in the actual veil point themselves. I am also working on installing lights into my veil points so that I can do night performances with them. But that's a thing that may or may not be popping up on this channel. I don't know. It just It's an experiment at the end of the day. I will also be doing talks about the benefits of veil poi and doing poi as well. It is a very, very empowering thing. It can be very therapeutic and it can be very good for your mental health as well as your physical health as well. And there are things I definitely want to be talking about in regards to veil poi and doing poi and the exercises and, you know, all the other things that come along with like stretches and, you know, your health problems and things like that. So hopefully you guys would like to hit that subscribe button down below and stay tuned for some interesting stuff that we'll be producing later this year. But my video content will be a little bit slower than usual, but it depends on, you know, what I get around to doing. So if you have any questions about how to do poi movements or veil poi stuff, by all means, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see and I'll be sure to get around to them. As for now, thank you guys for being really amazing and supportive. I am really sorry for the fact that I haven't been able to do anything on this channel for a while. So I hope to see you all in the next video. As for now, see you guys.